Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to RVs with Gabby. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that notification button, and that subscribe button down below so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today we're taking a look at a really awesome couples camper, pretty luxurious. It's on the higher end of the price points that people are looking at when they look at travel trailers, but it is chock full of features and it is gorgeous. This is gonna require a heavy duty truck to pull because it is quite large and quite long. The dry weight on this exact model is 9,410 pounds dry and your total length tip to tip is 36 feet and eight inches. This is the 2023 Forest River Rockwood um, signature 8332 SB. That is a mouthful. Uh, if I wanted to add, did I say ultralight in there? I didn't say ultralight in there. <laughs> but this is part of their Forest River Rockwood series. Um, like I said, full of upgrades up front. You're gonna have this nice front cap here. You've got this LED light, 30 pound propane tanks and the power tongue jack. As we move to the camping side, you have two awnings guys, two full awnings that cover basically the entire length of this coach. So 36 feet, I would say at least 34, 32, 32 probably is covered in awning. So these are not all the way out right now. It's a little windy here in Orlando. Um, <clears throat> looks like it's about to storm, but you have metal wrapped awnings. So those are protect your awning fabric when it's closed up, which is excellent. We have it optioned here with the uh, automatic electronic leveling. This is the stuff you see on fifth wheels that you see on motorhomes, guys. This is so much easier than messing with the drill or messing with the electric jacks. Trying to, you have to level it before you drop your stabilizers. This, you push the button, it auto levels itself. It's an excellent, excellent option. If you don't, if you want limited, if you want it to be easy when you're at the campground setting up. Um, there's a portable solar plug right here. There is a solar panel on board already. It's a 190 watt panel standard with a 1000 watt inverter. Uh, moving along, you have a TV mount here. You see all the frameless windows. There is a bracket here on all Rockwoods. I've said this before. It will come with a table and a, f and a flat top griddle. It's usually a Suburban Elite Series griddle. And that's, that goes right there, right? You have a couple plugs here um, if you wanna add or for the TV, if you wanna add a mini fridge out here, you've got your cable output here as well. Moving along the side of the camper, oh, quick to point out here, these are usually for your, uh, and there's nothing under here, so I know it's for your slide out. If you have an issue with your slide, this is the override to manually crank it back in. So that's a big deal. I know customers have been asking me like where are they located? If you have a rack and pinion system like this one, you're gonna see on the opposite side of the slide, this sort of little hole that you put the um, crank in to turn it closed. Big deal. Uh, door has a prop there. You've got the screenshot lippered thing. So if you, if you disconnect the, um, if you forget or your hands are full and you open the door, it just like, well now it's windy, so it's not working, but it, clo it, it closes itself, which is pretty neat. Three steps, step above adjustable stair, which is great. Coming around here, what is this, Alex? Didn't I just say they got a griddle up there? What's this? You have an outside kitchen on this model, folks. So when you get a Rockwood with an outside kitchen, you actually get two griddle stations. So, you know, maybe somebody's firing up the eggs over here and somebody's cooking up the bacon over there, but you utilize both stations, which is really great. And this fridge is pretty big. You've got a freezer even up top, which is awesome. And there's a little bit of storage here as well. So, uh, protected outlets right there. This griddle top closes like that and you swing it right back in. And this door is on a gas strut, just pops right back down, right? Metal slam latches on those. I love these latches. Um, and again, total awning coverage. So you're shaded, you're cooking, you're enjoying it. You've got your speakers, you can connect to your Bluetooth. Excellent, excellent pro product. Now, Forest River Rockwood, they're going to CNC route all their doors and windows. What does that mean for me, Gabby, as a customer? It means all of these are cut with laser precision. So there's no hand cutting the windows and doors. There's no room for human error because it's done with a laser cutter. So very tight seals on the windows and doors when they use a CNC router. 
Back end of here of the uh, camper, you've got a camera prep up top. You actually have a bumper on this one, which is rated for 300 pounds, this hitch. So just be careful you don't overload that with stuff. There is a place for a spout here with a hot and cold. And what's kind of neat is you actually have it. I'll show you around the corner, another like outside shower. So it's almost like two showers, but this sprayer is more like a garden hose. That one's an actual like shower head. Um, ladder to get up on your roof. It is fully walkable. Um, this is gonna be your kitchen slide, one of your kitchen slides. You do have opposing slides in this unit. What I love about this, and the reason I point this out, your fridge is huge and it's hard to work on. So for maintenance reasons, they just cut this panel here and it's awesome because that means the technician can get right in there and fix whatever's on your fridge. They don't have to yank it out, uh, risk ripping your floor up or messing, messing around with things. You know, technicians, they're not really worried about getting your unit dirty. They're worrying about fixing the problem. So this just make it, makes it easier for them and you don't have to invite them in the camper to fix things. It's just a lot smoother. Okay, so moving down this slide out, you do, I wanna point out, you get the Goodyear Endurance Tire Standard, right? Those are awesome with the aluminum rims. This little, this little green knob indicates that you have nitrogen filled tires, which just means they're gonna hold their temperature or their pressure a little bit better. You can put oxygen if you need in a, in a pinch. If you're at Wawa, you wanna fill them up with regular air, but they are nitrogen filled because they won't heat up as quickly. Um, you also have this yellow, if you want to zoom in a little bit, Alex, and show them this yellow little, it's, it's got an exclamation mark in red on the tire. That indicates that you have a tire pressure monitoring system built in. And I'll show you what that, um, what it looks like. It's usually stored in the fridge when we get them from the factory, but it's going to measure the temperature and the pressure of your tires as you're going down the road. So you've got a monitor you set up in the truck. You can keep an eye on it. Super solid. It's a great system to prevent you from having a blowout, right? You've got Goodyear tires that have a six year prorated warranty and they are number one in the industry, but it just helps to have that backup of like being proactive rather than reactive. Um, moving down the line, your, your ports and your plugs, <clears throat> sorry, I covered it a little bit, but city water connection, black tank flush, your dump tanks down there. This is your outside shower I was talking about. And I told Alex, I'd really have to be a lot shorter to, to utilize that. But there are systems that people can purchase aftermarket where you can kind of build an outside shower. So if you're parked somewhere seasonally or if you go to the beach and you want to rinse everybody off before you get back in the camper, there's options for setting up like little wood pallets to stand on and then like make a makeshift shower outside, which is pretty neat. Or you could probably run a giant curtain all the way between these two. So just options. This is underneath the bed. As we go inside, I'll show you the other side of it. They do block off the front side of it, but you have a pretty deep amount of storage. This is the hose I was referring to. You see, it's got like shower mist angle. This is more like washing off your toys and things before you bring them back in the camper. And then right up front is gonna be the last pit bit of storage, a bit bigger for grills and things to fit in there. You can see their aluminum, uh, welded aluminum frame construction there, and you can see the plywood of the um, inside of the closet. So that's pretty nice. And uh, I think that about covers the outside. So let's head on in and check out what everybody wants to see, which is the actual floor plan itself. If you want to give them a little walk around, Alex, I will close the door behind you. So you're going to notice, guys, this is one of the few models. Oh, I forgot to uh, unhook this door. This is one of the few models that does not have, um, man, that was stuck there. You're going to notice, guys, that this is one of the models that does not have an island, right? There's something missing. There's a lot of space in the middle of the camper. I actually had a couple come in today. Their biggest thing is they want this open floor plan. They don't want the island. So this is what it looks like. And this is one of the very few layouts you can get without an island. I actually had a really hard time finding them any other option. You're, pre you're pretty limited on that. Um, but yeah, super amount of floor space. Great. Entertainment center, when you walk in, is right on the left of the door. I guess my right when I'm standing this way, fireplace, TV. TV has a nice locking mechanism. Open that up. You've got some storage up above the outside kitchen there. So that's pretty nice to utilize. And oh, I got a breath. I'm talking so fast. You've got storage up above here. I do wish there was a gas strut because it does kind of slam right back down on me, but they utilize every little bit of storage. This is optioned with the booth dinette. It can be dropped down to sleep two people, which is awesome. You can also option freestanding table and chairs if you don't like it. You do have day and night roller shades in the, in the signature, which is excellent. So that's, op, um, that's an awesome feature that you usually find on motorhomes and things like that. Back kitchen here. So 
Uh, quite a bit of counter space running the length of the kitchen. You have a pretty big um, stainless steel sink here with a pull faucet. You've got a three burner um, induction cooktop, or induction, three burner propane cooktop and a little oven. And then of course your magic chef microwave for your popcorn. <laughs> there is a bit of storage throughout. And I like the window in the rear, which is great. You've also got oh, a garbage can already built in there. So that's nice. There's no shelf there and you have a um, vent there if you wanna open that up. If you're running the stove and you've got this vent going and you just wanna release some of the smells. Now, pantry on the left of this, check out that fridge you guys, but pantry is super deep, lots of storage in this. That goes back about as long as my arm, which is almost as wide as this fridge. So just for reference there. Nice big residential fridge here. This is great by GE. Let's see if we got, You've got the ice maker down here on the left and plenty of um, plenty of room in this fridge. I mean, you can't beat it. This has the theater seats. Now, they are manual. They have a um, electric lumbar support. That's what this part is. But yeah, they're just manual pull recliners. They do go all the way down. That's so comfortable after a long day. <laughs> and you've got cup holders built in, which is great. Does any of this? Yeah, so this opens. It goes a little bit deep, a couple inches. You could probably put your books, your remotes, things like that. And then your couch here. It's not super big, guys, because you have that hallway right here, but it will pull out to sleep another one or two people, maybe two kids. So you've got place like room to sleep six. Probably could throw a mattress where Alex is standing. I mean, it's pretty wide um, all around. <laughs> I like that pan down. Um, and then you have more storage up here above the couch. So. Plenty of storage, plenty of space in this model, right? Like I said, pretty heavy, but it that's what you get. You've got two air conditioners, 15, 15K Coleman Mach ACs on here. One's in the bedroom, one's in the living room. This is your panel for WeRV. Um, you can control it with your app. You can control your awnings, your slide outs, your lights, but it's not a touch pad, right? I just push uh, interior lights and they shut off and you can run all your slides and your awnings this way as well. Okay. Jack and Jill bathroom here is pretty nice. I have a porcelain foot flush toilet there. I've got this panel is all linen storage, which is great. My customer pointed out, this looks like a false door because you've got a handle, but it's actually um, closed on this side. So this must be some sort of maintenance panel and it's just there for looks, but there's no storage, unfortunately. Um, there is a little bit of sponge storage here. There's a little storage underneath the sink. It's not crazy, but it'll do the job. And I've got a stainless steel sink, no plastic, right? A little towel rack and some storage in the medicine cabinet if you wanna come over here, Alex. I know, I just I just said, say hey. <laughs> um, and you have a shower miser on board. So radial shower. I'm not a huge fan of how this knocks into my arm as I'm trying to get in and out of the shower. So if you don't like squeezing into tight spaces, like this is not, that's not awesome, but I get it. They want to be able to give you some storage, so that's what you got to give up. So radial corner shower, shower miser on board. I have a video in my features and benefits Fridays. I'm so sorry. I haven't done a feature and benefit Friday in a while, guys. I was on vacation. It was a lot. I'll get back to it, I promise. But um, that's a great feature to have on board. It saves your water tank, and I call this the Jack and Jill bathroom. We're going to head on into the bedroom now. Huge bedroom, right? You've got a king bed here. On a slide out, you've got a lot of walk around space. If you lift the bed, it's on gas struts, right? You have two, oh, that's why it's blocked off, Alex. It's two drawers. So actually, you don't even really have to lift that because you could just open the drawers themselves and they're, that's pretty deep. I like that, that's huge. So two of these drawers, which is great. You also have, oh, since I'm down here, <laughs> two drawers and then four smaller drawers as well. There is the table right below Alex's feet with the Suburban Elite Series griddle that will come with your unit with every Rockwood. And the dresser top here, you have a backer for a TV, your cable outputs there. This closet here would be designated if you wanted a washer dryer, you could take the shelves out, get a washer dryer installed really nice in here. Um, you can tell by yeah, where the dryer vent location is and where the water hookups are. So that one's there. And then you do have a hanging rod closet here 
Hi, Alex. <laughs> nice big mirror in this bedroom. Um, and that about covers the 8332SB Rockwood Signature. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you love my content, please don't forget to support me. Until next time, happy camping.